The African savanna echoes with a symphony of sounds. Amongst the rustle of leaves and the calls of birds, a deeper, more powerful sound emerges, the roar of a lion. This iconic sound is a cornerstone of lion communication, a language as old as time itself. Lions, unlike many other animals, are highly social creatures living in groups called prides. To thrive in these complex social structures, lions have evolved a sophisticated system of communication, encompassing a wide range of vocalizations, body language, and even scent marking. Understanding this intricate language is key to unlocking the secrets of lion behavior. From territorial disputes to tender moments within the pride, every aspect of a lion's life is governed by its ability to communicate effectively. Imagine the savannah without the lion's roar. It would be a quieter, less dramatic place, devoid of the majesty and power that these big cats embody. The lion's voice is an integral part of the African wilderness, a reminder of the raw beauty and untamed spirit that captivates our imagination. This essay delves into the fascinating world of lion communication, exploring the nuances of their vocalizations, the eloquence of their body language, and the importance of these communicative tools for their survival. Join me as we journey into the heart of the lion pride, deciphering the whispers, roars, and silent exchanges that govern their lives. Prepare to be amazed by the complexity and sophistication of the King's Symphony. The roar of a lion is an unforgettable experience, a primal sound that resonates deep within our bones. It is a sound that commands attention, a declaration of presence that can be heard up to five miles away. But the roar is more than just a display of power. It serves a multitude of purposes in the lion's social world. Primarily, the roar is used to establish and defend territory. A male lion will roar to warn off rivals, sending a clear message, this is my land, stay away. The roar also plays a vital role in maintaining contact between pride members. Lions often roar in unison, their voices blending together in a chorus that strengthens social bonds and reinforces their collective strength. Imagine a group of lions scattered across the savanna, hunting or patrolling their territory. Their roars act like invisible threads, connecting them across the distance, assuring each other of their presence and coordinating their movements. Furthermore, the roar is a powerful tool for attracting mates. Female lions are drawn to the deep, resonant roars of potential partners, a sign of strength and virility. The roar, therefore, becomes a love song of sorts, echoing across the plains in search of a receptive ear. It's a testament to the power of sound and its ability to convey complex messages across vast distances. While the roar is undoubtedly the most iconic of lion vocalizations, it is just one instrument in their complex symphony of sounds. Lions have a surprisingly diverse vocal repertoire, each sound conveying a specific message. For instance, lions use a variety of soft moans, grunts and chuffs for close-range communication within the pride. These intimate sounds are often used as greetings, expressions of affection, or to reassure cubs. When a lioness returns to the pride after a hunt, she will often greet her cubs with gentle moans, her voice filled with warmth and reassurance. Cubs, in turn, will respond with excited chirps and meows, eager to nurse and be close to their mother. These tender exchanges highlight the nurturing side of lion society, a stark contrast to their fierce reputation. Another important vocalization is the hiss, a sharp explosive sound used as a warning signal. Lions will hiss when they feel threatened or annoyed, often accompanied by flattened ears and bared teeth. This auditory warning is usually enough to deter potential aggressors or to settle minor disputes within the pride. The hiss, therefore, acts as a pressure valve, preventing unnecessary escalation and maintaining social harmony. Section 4. The Language of Confrontation. Snarls, growls and hisses. Confrontations, while not always desirable, are an inevitable part of life in a lion pride. Whether it's competing for food, defending territory or vying for dominance, Lions have developed a specific set of vocalizations to communicate aggression and resolve conflicts. The most common of these is the growl, a deep guttural sound that signals a threat. Lions growl with their mouths open, exposing their formidable teeth, 
and often accompany the growl with a direct stare and flattened ears. A more intense form of vocal threat is the snarl, a harsh, explosive sound that indicates a higher level of aggression. Lions snarl by pulling back their lips, exposing not only their teeth but also their gums, creating a truly intimidating display. The snarl is usually reserved for serious confrontations, warning rivals that they are prepared to fight if necessary. In addition to growls and snarls, lions may also use a combination of hisses, spits and roars during confrontations. These sounds are often used in quick succession, creating a cacophony of aggression designed to intimidate and overwhelm their opponent. The intensity and duration of these vocalizations will depend on the severity of the threat and the willingness of the opposing lions to back down. Section 5. Learning to Roar. Vocalization in Lion Cubs. Lion cubs, like human infants, are not born with the ability to communicate effectively. They enter the world with a limited vocal range, consisting mostly of mews, whimpers and suckling sounds. However, as they grow and develop, cubs begin to experiment with different vocalizations, mimicking the sounds they hear from adults in the pride. This process of vocal learning is crucial for their survival, as it allows them to communicate their needs, establish social bonds and eventually find their place within the pride hierarchy. Play serves a vital role in this learning process. As cubs wrestle, chase and pounce on each other, they practice their growls, hisses and even rudimentary roars. These playful interactions provide a safe space for cubs to hone their vocal skills, learning to modulate their tone and intensity depending on the situation. It's a delightful sight to witness these miniature roars and mock battles, a testament to the power of play in shaping animal behaviour. As cubs approach adulthood, their vocalisations become more refined and purposeful. Young males, for instance, will begin to practice their roars, their voices deepening and strengthening as they mature. These practice sessions, often accompanied by much head shaking and chest puffing, are a clear indication that they are preparing for their future roles as potential pride leaders. The savanna echoes with the promise of future kings, their developing roars a testament to the circle of life. Section 6. A Tale of Emotions. Body Language in the Lion Pride. While vocalizations play a crucial role in lion communication, body language is equally important in conveying messages. Lions are masters of non-verbal communication, using a subtle but effective repertoire of postures, gestures and facial expressions to communicate their intentions and emotions. The tail, for instance, is a remarkably expressive appendage. A relaxed lion will hold its tail loosely, often with a slight twitch at the tip. However, as tension rises, the tail will begin to swish back and forth, a clear sign of agitation or excitement. During confrontations, the tail becomes a weapon of psychological warfare. Lions will thrash their tails violently, hoping to intimidate their rivals and make themselves appear larger and more threatening. The tail, therefore, acts as an extension of their emotions, amplifying their visual displays and adding another layer of complexity to their communication. Facial expressions also play a vital role in lion communication. A lion's mood can be easily gauged by observing the position of its ears, the set of its jaw and the intensity of its stare. Flattened ears, for instance, indicate fear or aggression, while a relaxed jaw and soft eyes convey a sense of ease and contentment. These subtle cues, often missed by the untrained eye, are essential for maintaining social harmony within the pride and avoiding unnecessary conflicts.